Within the last few months, we have heard some terrible stories involving police officers, but tonight one local man wants the community to know not all officers are like that. I didn't even get your name. I didn't get yours, but I went around the world to find your name, believe me. <laughs> An emotional reunion for Terry Andrews and the Winston-Salem police officer who showed him compassion. Appreciate it. And like I said, I prayed for you. At a time, Terry needed it the most. It, it was hard when I walked away from you <laughs> because I'm getting emotional every time I think about it. His bond with Sergeant Todd Hart started to tighten over the weekend. Terry was parked illegally here in the fire lane in front of Times Square Pizza and Parkway Shopping Center. He knew he was wrong, but Terry says he was trying to get his wife inside the restaurant for a birthday celebration for their 10-year-old daughter. His wife is battling terminal cancer and can't walk very well. I've been in the hospital all Friday with a procedure with my wife. Then we turned around and had to rush back to the emergency room. By the time he got back to the car to move it, he had a $50 ticket on the windshield. Raw with emotions, Terry went on foot, hoping to track down the officer in one of the stores. He found Sergeant Hart, told him his situation, and the sergeant told him not to worry about that ticket. He would take care of it. When you do something good and something right, a lot of times it goes unknown and unnoticed, and I wanted to make sure that it didn't go because it means a lot to me and my family. He needed help. Um, he's trying to spend time with his family, and he just needed somebody to listen to, and I listened to him, and I felt compassionate to take care of that ticket for him so he didn't have to worry about that. A friendship now sealed with a handshake. And Terry Andrews says that he just wanted to say thank you to this officer and shine a light on one of the good ones. We're live in Winston-Salem. Margaret Johnson, WXII 12 News.